Steve Shetler Media presents Tuesday Night Tuna, TNT. Coming to you from Smoky Row in Oskaloosa, Iowa. On Steve Shetler Media Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Every Tuesday at 7 p.m. April 16th through August 13th. Hosted by Safe Grafke. Talking to local and area drivers. Get tuned up for the racing week ahead with Tuesday Night Tune Up TNT. Starting April 16th, live from Smoky Row in Oskaloosa. Right here on Steve Shetler Media. A skid steer is one of the most versatile pieces of farm equipment, but there can be safety issues, especially for bystanders on Successful Farming Radio. Successful Farming Radio, providing information farmers need in the field, in the shop, and in the office. Committed to growing your business in agriculture. Successful Farming presents the 15 Minutes with a Farmer podcast. In each episode, a successful farming editor has a quick conversation with a farmer, chock full of stories and advice from their area of agriculture. They're interesting, educational, and perfect for your busy schedule. Search for 15 Minutes with a Farmer wherever you download your podcasts. Any age, any make, any model. Any way you look at it, you can get the right part at the right price by stopping by the one parts counter at your local John Deere dealership. Whether you need to replace a worn part or just need to stock up on maintenance and replacement parts, you can find it all at the one parts counter. Knowledgeable, friendly staff will help you choose from genuine John Deere, Reman, or A&I parts. Do yourself and your machine a favor. Stop by the one parts counter today at your local John Deere dealership. Skid steers are a popular piece of equipment on farms and ranches. They're very compact, designed to easily maneuver in tight spaces, and will accommodate a variety of attachments. Operators may know how to safely run the machine, but there are other factors that could increase the risk of someone getting hurt. They can misjudge their ability to stop or avoid a dangerous situation. Aaron Yoder is an assistant professor in the Department of Environmental, Agricultural, and Occupational Health at the University of Nebraska. He says a lot of skid steer injuries happen to bystanders. Other employees working around the machine and the operators focused on what they're doing and uh, they don't see the people around them and because they do pivot and move around quickly, they can oftentimes run people over. So making sure we keep people away from them, that's the biggest one in my mind. Skid steers perform the best on a hard packed surface that's not concrete or pavement. Ice, mud, and slick work areas can limit traction and stability. The machines can tip over if they're carrying loads that are heavier than what can be safely lifted. And since they're so compact, their footprints are small, which affects the center of gravity. Traditionally, they're built with more weight on the back because that's where the engine's at. So when we're going over different terrain, one of the best mottos I've heard is you want the heavy end uphill. So if there's nothing in the bucket of a skid steer, you'd want to back up onto a trailer, up a hill. If there's a load in the bucket, then you probably want to go forward up the hill or onto a trailer and that sort of thing. I'm Jody Henke. Learn more about skid steer safety at agriculture.com.